The 10th annual Knit In for the Cure is going on in downtown Brainerd, where many area knitters come together to knit for a cause. Sarah Winkleman has more. If you can just do a little something that will help somebody out during a trying time, that's, that's the main goal here. That goal is what keeps many of the talented women coming back to you trinkets each year, to knit and crochet prayer shawls, lap blankets, and chemo hats for local treatment centers. Many of the returning knitters come from all over, including Missy, who makes a special trip from Minneapolis each year. Two months before I'd found it, four years ago, my friend, my best friend that I've had since I was 16, died of cancer. So it seemed like it was fitting that I found it on that day. It was the day they're having it. So I just keep coming back. During the 24-hour knit-in, knitters are welcome to come and go as they please. However, some of them decide to stay and knit the entire time. You, you would think you would get tired of it, and you really don't. You get into such a rhythm that you just keep going and going. Even after the event, the Knit for a Cure is still in their thoughts as they knit at home. We have one gal who will make hats over the year and come and turn them in at the event. So she usually brings in about 30 hats at the event and then keeps working on them. Many projects are completed during the knit-in and this year Christy has a special project to work on during the event. There is a young girl in the Brainerd Lakes area that is battling cancer and Christy is making her a blanket with her favorite colors. Even though not on the receiving end, Christy is grateful to those that dedicate their time to the cause. It's pretty touching to me that people are so willing to give of their time and their talent. And this is a pretty tight-knit community. So, the, you know, what they say, Minnesota nice, that people, that people are just willing to help out wherever they can. Last year, over the 24 hours, the group made 91 hats, 31 shawls, and 18 lap blankets to donate. No matter what project they are working on at the event, the major goal is to give comfort to those who need it most. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The knit-in will continue until noon tomorrow, then all of the finished products will be donated. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.